89.9 FM, the East Bay's best variety. I got my dude Lejay and my dude Cut E in the building. Live Wire Records, man. What do you do, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Without any cuss words, reintroduce yourself. Who you are, what are you guys doing, and where you from? Well, I'm Lejay of Live Wire Records. Mm -hmm. You feel me, Mr. Self-Made Millionaire? Drop it off in your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my artist of Clef No TNT, Cutty. Mm -hmm. Cutty. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he's a. What's up with you, man? It's Cutty. Yep, yep. Mm hmm. Clef No <laughs> Entertainment. Mm hmm. Just dropped that night out about a couple days ago. Okay. July 30th. Make sure yeah. you check it out. Cutty.com. Cutty.com. Uh, spell it for them. K U T T hyphen E dot com. Oh, okay, and that's what it is. So check out that link right there and it'll be on there. Uh -huh. Okay, most definitely. Night Owl. And as well as um, LJ, uh, where can we check out your stuff at? And you can go on my website, ljayalldayy.com. You can go on there and download all my music. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got like three or four mixtapes you can download. One's called The Sex Tape. It's mm -hmm. like on some straight R&B. Mm -hmm. Bed making, you know, they said singing ain't in, yeah. but you know, I still got, I still got a little bit. I think so. I think it's still in. And then um, <laughs> I got, a, I got one, one project called the Swag Tape, and yeah. I got one I dropped in April, right? Called Property Damage. That's like Woo. the jacket for beats. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Breaking beds, yeah, property yeah. damage. You feel me? That's yeah. the type of property damage it is, cause we breaking bread. Yeah. I mean beds. <laughs> <laughs> they breaking yeah. both. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. So, um, real quick, how did you get started? Because um, you, you know. You you from the very beginning in this industry of music, man. Well, I've been I've been singing and performing ever since I was I was small. Mm -hmm. I was actually I started touring when I was thirteen. Touring? Touring. When, when I was thirteen. Wow. When I was thirteen. Where did um, you go? I went to Canada, wow. Washington, Vancouver, Victoria. Oh. Yeah, I went on like tight. a seven day a seven day trip, and I actually did all the booking of the shows myself. What? At thirteen. That's but I was actually singing classical and opera. Wow. Yeah. But wow. Um, I went to school for it, graduated, went to school for it, got into a car accident. Wow. And um, when I tried to pursue my music doing the classical thing, it um it was it was it was struggles and loopholes you had to jump through, especially right, right. being African American, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, <laughs> and I've been doing R and B and I've been making like I've been writing ever since yeah. I wrote my first song when I was like in the sixth grade. Wow. So I've been doing the R and B thing Forever. On, on a smaller level. Exactly, on a smaller level at that point. Yeah. And then yeah. I just incorporated everything, was like I'm just about to push this R and B thing and just right. talk about my environment, you know, things yeah. that I've seen and been around and mm -hmm. next thing you know, Livewire Records, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get connected with Livewire, by the way? Wow. Cause you got a whole album with Jay, right? Yeah, me and Stalin, we got a, we got a, we got a whole album together. We actually met. They had this big Northern California mm. tour. Oh, okay. And you been touring? Going, no, 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 they actually had a Northern Northern <laughs> California tour talent search. Oh, okay. And it was ran by Shakur Stewart. That's the one that signed Rick Ross. Oh yeah, and he got, he ended up getting yeah, killed. Yeah, Rick Ross. Yeah, he he, he shot his Death Jam. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he did a, a big talent search, and it was yeah. one of them ones. You feel me? That you got to put like a hundred dollars in to to audition, and most of the time people be like, man, I ain't about to pay no hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. That's that's all some old fake stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, you know what? I, I had the money, and I was selling at, the, at that time. I'm selling CDs off my trunk, pushing mm -hmm. my line, paying and, for itself. Yeah. So. I just paid the hundred dollars and then I re I um I auditioned. Yeah. They liked my audition. They told me to go up to Frisco. I sang to Frisco in front of his. I think label. I was there, man. I was I, I was the only performer. I was the only. It was only three arm. It was two male arm. Oh, okay. Artists. They they it did it one. several times because they did a lot of times. In Frisco. They like graffiti in the alley and yeah. all that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What? Okay. Well, that was that was actually. The first time I met Stalin because oh, okay. Stalin, that was the same one. If he was there, because mm. I think that was the only one that he had put on that. In oh, that time. He, he was he, he auditioned too. On. He was no, oh, oh. yeah, Stalin auditioned too. Oh, okay. Stalin was there. Shady was there. The Jackal what? was there. Matt Black was there. The Hood Stars were there. I, I remember the Hood Stars. But um, That's at that, I didn't yeah, know they was all there. Yeah, they were all. They were, <laughs> it was like it was like the best of the best. You wow. know, some of them was already big. No, no and yeah. some of them was like upcoming. Yeah, yeah. And there, I met Stalin, and Shakur was like, you know, you guys sound good together. Yeah, he told us that. What? So I was like, all right. So I'm throwing shows and parties. Mm -hmm. I'm from Stockton, born and raised in Stockton, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, 
I'm out going to the bay back and forth, just selling my CDs and throwing parties, because I was throwing wow. throwing a lot of parties. Mm -hmm. And I hit Style enough, like, hey, what's going on, bro? He was like, yeah, come to the studio. So I came <laughs> to the studio on my way to pick up some flyers what for year a show. What by the way? Man, this was like in 2000, 2009. Okay, 2009. 2009. But I met him in 2008. Mm. Like at the, I think it was like, the, it was April 2000, April 2008. When I met Stalin, okay. because that's when the big Def Jam thing was, and it yeah, was yeah. later 2008 mm -hmm. when I did my first recording with Stalin. And, and then you started working together. And then ever since then, we started working together. Wow. Yeah, so that's basically how it started, just from a little talent search. We, wow. We, we kind of found each other. That's what's up. Uh, real quick, I want to ask you, what did you learn from doing booking that first show that you did all over in Canada and stuff? Uh, uh, what did you learn from that experience? Because you know you're young, you booked your own show, you booked your own tour. Yeah. What did you learn from that experience at a young age? I learned to stay humble <laughs> because it can go really, really fast. Yeah. You know, like if you're if you got a popular demand and you hot, you know, you can have all the attitudes you want, all yeah. the swag and all the all the BS you want to say. But at the end of the day, people just dealing with you just because you got a hot song and you hot at that moment. Right, you right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that tour because they have great relationships with people. Right, and right. And that's my advice is just, just stay humble because if they like you, they're going to work with you yeah. and they're going to want you to succeed rather than right. having to do an interview with you because you hot. Yeah. When you ain't hot, they ain't going to do an interview with that, you. No that's more. what I'm you saying, what I'm though. Saying? So, so uh, what, what is your input on that? You know, knowing that like the industry is like that. Everyone has goals and has dreams to do what they want to do. You right. Know, you got your goal. Cuddy got his goal. I got my goal. Right. You know what I mean? And it's just working with people so everyone can reach their personal goals. Yeah. You know, well, so that, that's success. what I'm all about. Yeah, I'm just trying to help everybody that's trying to help me and we can help each other. Yeah. We can make <laughs> the world a better place. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. So now we're in the present. I know you guys got some albums out right now and you got uh, uh, current shows too, right, going on. Yeah, we just got back yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, I have my Streets to the Sheets tour. Mm -hmm. It was actually me, Cuddy, mm -hmm. my artist from Clef yeah. Notes. It was yeah. Thrill and Fish Gale mm -hmm. of Livewire. Uh -huh. And we did Oregon, we wow. did we did um, Washington, we did five shows in five days. It was wow. crazy. Yeah, we got an album coming out called Streets of the Chiefs Volume Two. Whoa! So we did the tour mm -hmm. before we actually dropped the album, just promoting, doing a buzz. That's big. Yeah. I, I, who's book? You still booking these shows? Too? Yeah, I booked those. Wow. Yeah, I booked those. You're you booking know? your own tours. Yeah. Not even just shows, tours. Yeah. Book in other tour. in other states and. Places and that's great, man. Congrats. How did you learn to just do that yourself? Well, you know, like I said, when I was when I was fourteen mm -hmm. in the ninth grade, right? The school that I was at, uh -huh. they had a really good talent, like talent situation, and how the teacher actually did it. Mm -hmm. He was training the students yeah. to do everything on their own. Oh, really? You know, especially me coming from coming from. Northern California, you do everything yourself. You yeah, know, because yeah. we don't got no big labels out here. So you gotta learn how to promote, mm -hmm. do your flyers, you yeah. gotta learn how to do everything. The and coming mind. and coming from Stockton, mm -hmm. you really gotta know how to do everything. You feel me? Yeah, because you yeah. really don't have any avenues. Yeah. So what our teacher told us, you feel me, he was like, You need to learn how to do everything yourself. And I end up booking my own my that own tour for the schools because the person that was booking the tours was a senior and and they were getting ready to leave wow so they had to teach me all the stuff so wow. i just got lucky really Yay, that's tight yeah. so you know from there i was just i was i was doing wow it. Young, yeah. you're, you're, you're like 13 14 years old and now you start doing that man that's that's amazing it's a blessing you wow know I mean? it's a blessing just to just to learn it matter of fact i just got back i, was gone I know you just texted 17 said, days yeah. i was gone 17 days i did six states um i did maryland Virginia, mm. North DC, that's not a state though. Yeah. But um North Carolina, from there, I drove to Atlanta, Georgia, from mm. there, Dallas, Texas, from there, wow. Alabama, Florida, New Mexico. So I flew from North I flew from Cali, North Carolina, I drove all the way up and down. Wow. Just, just straight on the push. You feel me? Wow. Pushing this LeJay brand. 